Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Apologies if the lighting looks a little weird. I was trying to film this video earlier, but the battery in my camera was really low and it was taking a long time to charge. Now it's dark and I have like every light on in my apartment to try and make this look okay. I wanted to do a what's in my makeup bag. I have this huge makeup bag. I have so many products. I used to work on the beauty team at my company and so I acquired quite a bit of samples, but also just loving beauty. I have so many products I've purchased too over the years and I have so much stuff. So I thought I would quickly show you all the products as well as give you kind of like a quick little review on my thoughts about them. So let's get started. First off, this makeup bag. This is a Kenneth Cole Reaction makeup bag and I bought this at Century 21 downtown because I acquired so much makeup that my makeup bag was just like not cutting it before then. All right, let's start off with this. This is a Real Techniques powder brush. I use this every single day with my Glossier powder. I think Real Techniques makes fantastic brushes and they're very, very, very inexpensive. And also I'm a huge fan of Sam and Nick Chapman. I've been watching their channel for years um, and I really love that two really great women created this brush line. So really recommend this. This is like a really cheap brush. Moving on, I just realized this is going to be a mess of things. Oh my gosh, okay. Next brush I have, oh I got this um, in LA. Um, this is the Morphe 527 brush. I got this at the old Morphe store before they moved to their bigger one in Burbank. I love this brush. I told the girl I was like trying to do contouring. She actually recommended this brush. I use this brush for blush and that was a tongue twister. And I also use it for bronzer. I don't really contour, but when I do my foundation, I sometimes tend to look quite pale. So I put a little bit of bronzer, put a little blush, um, and this is a great, great, great brush. Moving on. Ooh, let's move on to some daily products. Glossier Wouter. You know I love my Glossier. So I use these two together. I have the Wouter on right now. Um, Glossier also redid this product. So if you guys saw my Instagram stories, I mentioned that it's also in my beauty highlights that Glossier recently redid all of their face makeup. So they have a huge range of shades now. But um, in addition to that, they also now have five different powders and they used to only, I think, have three shades of the powder. So I did recently repurchase this because I'm almost out, but this is the light medium, but now it actually goes by like shade number. Um, I love this stuff and this stuff actually works really well with like all of my foundations. I find it just sets my makeup really nicely. I've also used this. Do you hear the sirens? I can't. Anyway. I just ignore it. I live in New York, I'm sorry. I really love that this works with a lot of foundations. Moving on. This, oh my God, I love this brush. This brush is one of my favorite brushes. This is the Face Buffer Brush from Makeup Geek. Oh my goodness, this brush is so good. It's probably really similar. There's a Morphe Buffer Brush that like everyone uses. Um, this brush is amazing at putting on foundation and it is so soft, this is like one of the softest brushes I think I have. Every time I've used it or cleaned it, like it is so good. Highly, highly recommend this brush. I'm just picking things blindly. Oh, I picked out two products. Another daily product I use, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I love, love Maybelline products. Um, I specifically their mascaras. I also love their gel eyeliner, but I think this is a great mascara. It, the brush is very similar, I believe, to one of the Benefit mascaras, um, the Lash Roller, I think it's called. Um, but this is, this is a great mascara, super cheap. This is from PYT Beauty. PYT Beauty is a brand that I believe they specialize in like paraben free makeup. They, they specialize in something, but this was a blush um, that my coworker gave to me because um, it's pretty pale and she thought I could use it. So um, I really like this blush actually. It's very, very light. It gives you a very natural flush. It's the color Exhale and it's called their Heartbeat Cheek Color. I have two Glossier Ziploc bag things in this makeup bag. There's so much product, oh my God. Um, I have two brushes. This is, oh, this looks dirty. I, I'm so sorry. Um, this is the Real Techniques um, gel liner brush. This is their 202 brush. This is from one of their 
like special chrome lines, I think it's called, but I used to use gel liner quite a bit. Great brush for gel eyeliner. What I use this for is I use like a pencil eyeliner and so I'll kind of put dashes on my eyelid and I use this brush to actually smooth out the eyeliner. Great, 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 great brush. It is black because I used to use it almost daily. And it's angled so you can be really precise with it. And then this is a Morphe M433 brush. This is a great eyeshadow blending brush. Can't say enough. It's really soft, really nice. Moving on to more things. Woo, we got a whole lot of things. This is a beauty blender. Pretty self-explanatory. I like beauty blenders. I don't use them as much as I used to though. I just find they don't work very well with the glossy skin tint and they don't really work well with the Ordinary Serum Foundation. Those are the two face products I mainly use. So I don't really use beauty blenders as much as I used to but I always keep one on hand um, because I think they are a really great makeup tool. This is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This is a super, super, super cheap eye pencil. I like Essence makeup. I think it's pretty good and it's like insanely inexpensive. I then have the Glossier Lid Star. This is the color Cub. Great eyeshadow. However, this really does dry out my eyelids, so I can't wear it very often, but I love this. This looks great on its own. It also looks great if you layer it with other colors. And then I have two other eye products. I have the Glossier Boy Brow, self-explanatory. Have it on right now, use it every day. This eyeliner, oh wow, I really like this eyeliner. This was a sample I got from, maybe it was FabFitFun. This was a sample I got from, oh no, I got this from Birchbox. By the way, the Birchbox store closed in Soho and I like had no idea that they were closing their store. Anyway, I used to go to the Birchbox store and it was a great way to test new products because you could build your own Birchbox there. And this was one of the products I got. It's the Ico Black Liquid Liner. This liner, look at that. Oh my God, you don't even have to like, put any pressure. This eyeliner, like you can use the lightest touch and it goes on so well, it's so dark. I love this. I used to be a really big fan of Ico eyeliner when I was in college and I love, love this eyeliner. But again, it does make my eyes quite dry so I can't use it too often. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. Oh, jeez. Oh gosh, okay, let's speed through. Um, this is a Morphe M501 brush. Don't use this too much, but I just realized now I should really use this to set my concealer. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the best eye, one of the best eye primers out there. This is a very old Morphe brush. This is, I don't know, this is not Morphe, this is Real Techniques, what am I talking about? This, they had an eye set that I got. This is a great brush for putting on your eyeshadow base. Um, so I usually use this for my base color. Um, it's an okay blending brush. The Morphe brushes are way better for blending and I have a brush in here from Laura Geller that's amazing for blending that I'll show you. This is an e.l.f. angled eyeliner brush. Again, I used to use this for gel liner. I don't really like this brush as much and I probably should throw it out, but e.l.f. makes really cheap brushes. And then this lip, oh my God, this lipstick, oh my gosh. This lipstick, one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. I always go back to this. This is the NYX Liquid Suede in the color, oh my God, what color is this? Soft Spoken. This stuff, this lipstick is $8. It is great. This is such a great color. It goes so, it goes on so well. I wear this when I am going out and I do a full face of makeup. This is like the last thing I put on. It is so, so good. Can't say enough. And I find this doesn't make my lips feel crazy dry when I put it on. It really is liquid suede. Um, moving on. Okay, oh, this is the blending brush I was talking about. This is the Laura Geller blending brush. And I got this from work. It was like one of the random brushes we had. And this blending brush is so good. What I use this brush for is because it's a little bit flatter than the Morphe brush, as you can see. Actually, they're probably about the same. This is much softer than this brush. So what I do is I take my crease color and I actually use this in my crease and I blend my eyeshadow while also putting it in my crease. But I really like this brush, I really do. I don't know if you can purchase this, because like I said, it was just kind of like laying around at work. 
but otherwise. Another sample I got at work is the Laura Geller Balance and Bronze. This is like a mix of a blush and a bronzer, so it's actually like two different shades, but I use this as my bronzer because it's not super dark. Well, it is, you can really make it as dark as you want, I guess, but I just use this to add some color to my face. Da -da -da. Oh, here we go. I have a lot of random Lorac shadows because once again, these are for my job, but I really love Lorac eyeshadows. I think they're so soft and so great. This is just a random one. This is called Bone. This is a great base eyeshadow. I think I have like a few more of these. And then this is a newer product, which I'm also wearing, which you might have seen on my Instagram stories. This is the new Glossier Concealer. This is in the color G11. Um, I really love this concealer. This is a great concealer. Like, I'm really impressed with this. I think this looks really nice on my skin. I think it sets very nicely. The only thing I had the other day I noticed was some of my um, mascara had, like, ended up on the bottom of my eyes and it was sticking to the concealer, but I'm all about this concealer. It's so good. Oh my God, I have a pile. Uh, what else is in here? More, oh, I have random Stila eye shadows, which I haven't used. They're okay, they're not my favorite. Um, oh, this is a very old lipstick, which I have debated about throwing out because I don't know if I can still wear this. Um, I guess I can. I bought this lipstick a few, a few years ago. I also like n accidentally nicked the top off of it. This is the NARS, um, I don't know what lipstick this is. It's a matte lipstick, it's in the color Gypsy. I was trying to wear more lipstick and I bought, I splurged and bought this. I also lived at home, so I had the money to splurge on cosmetics and spend $100 at Sephora. But I really, I actually really like this color. It's a really nice lipstick when I'm feeling a little sexy and spunky and I like that it's really tiny. So you can keep it in your purse. There's a pile of brushes, more makeup, brushes. I saved the brush from the Naked palette because I really like this brush. This is really good for patting on eyeshadow. I have a random pair of tweezers. This is a crease brush from Real Techniques. This is also supposedly this is a good brush for putting on concealer. Um, this is a little Real Techniques. This is her silicone brush. Like I said, I used to wear gel liner all the time and this is also another great brush if you want super precise lines with your gel liner. Um, but this is another trick I use with gel liner. I also use this brush when I want to turn eyeshadow into eyeliner because I've done that before too. Um, this is a brush I got at Michael's. It's a very, very small paint brush and this is great for using with your eyeliner. It really is because it's so tiny and it's really soft and it's really precise and it has a grip. Um, so that's a little tip that I have. I think that brush was like a dollar or something. Okay, we're at the bottom of one of the bags. I was looking for this, this is for my face razor. Um, this is a great little travel brush, also from Laura Geller. I think this was also lying around at work. You have an eyeliner brush and you have a little blending brush. And then I have another Stila eyeshadow thing. I don't, as you can see, I wear a lot of neutrals. The Stila eyeshadows, I don't, I don't really use these as much. I should probably give them away or something because these are pretty, some of these are pretty shimmery and then some of these are pretty dark. So I don't really use these. I really like the Lorac ones better. Okay, that's done. Let's go to the other bag. I have, I'm almost out of this, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't know if setting sprays really work for me. I tried them in the summer when I didn't want my makeup to, uh, to look gross. Um, what else is in here? I have, oh my gosh, this is this brush I've had for so long. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I think this was like the brush of YouTube when I was in college. I've had this since I was in college and I keep meaning to buy a new one because the brush has, I've cleaned it so many times and I've used it so many times, the bristles are like not really nice anymore. This brush works really well with the Glossier skin tint. It almost like paints it on your face. It's not as fluffy as this brush, like a buffer brush, but I would use this with CC creams, BB creams. It works pretty well for that. It's a really great all around face brush. So can't say enough about it. This palette, oh my gosh, I got this at work. And this palette is probably one of the most used palettes I've ever had. 
I did drop it, so the black totally broke, but this is the, I don't even know if the Lorac makes this anymore, but this is a Lorac Matte Pro Palette. It's so little, so it's great for traveling, but it has these beautiful neutrals. It has a great mirror, but these colors are so great. And I've hit pan already with that one, but I love this little palette. I would, I hope they still make this because I would repurchase this, but oh, I really love, I really love this. Like, I love this palette. So good. And the softest eyeshadows. Oh, I feel, okay. This is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I should probably throw this out. But it works okay. I don't really use it. I have a Makeup Geek lipstick. I actually really like the Makeup Geek lipsticks. This is the Makeup Geek Iconic Lipstick in the color Shy. This is a really, really nice mauve matte color. I really am very impressed with the Makeup Geek um, cosmetics, I have to say. Great lipstick. And then I have a Becca brush. Um, this was recommended to me by one of my old coworkers. She loves this brush. This is also a great brush, bleh, brush for bronzer because you can go like, Wah. and I've used this brush for blending as well. I have some of these brushes, like, I have so many things in here, like I don't even use. More Makeup Geek products and lipsticks. Okay, let's talk through these. Another Makeup Geek Iconic lipstick. This is the color Lively. Look at that red. This is a really nice dark red. And then, I don't think I've used this one as much. Sorry, I mean this one. This is the color Candid. This one is a little too brown for my liking. It, this color like doesn't match the cap, really. It's a little too brown, but I've used it, so I, like, I don't wanna give it to anyone. And then this product, I bought this about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, at the Burberry Cosmetics Store at Covent Garden in London. And this is their Burberry Lip Contour. Now, this product is, if you wear it on its own, it is not very long lasting. This is really great to use as a base for a lipstick. So if you have, I would say maybe if you're putting like a lighter color over this, I would use it. But on its own, this isn't very good. It does come off quite easily, unfortunately. But it's a really nice color and here, I'll swatch it for you. It's very, very soft. Like super, super, super soft. Maybe you could use this as almost like a liner or like a base for, I don't know, like a liquid lipstick. Maybe I'll try using that and doing that. Let's see what would happen, because that color matches this color. Let's experiment. Here we go, let's see. I'm gonna put that over that. Ooh, kind of darkened it a little bit. I'm gonna see how that dries. Okay, um, the last few products I have, this is another Morphe brush. This is the M333, great for patting on eyeshadow. Also great if you're doing like some dark eyeshadow in the corner. I have the Glossier Skin Perfecting Tint. This is in the color Light Claire, but like I said, this comes in more shades. I'm almost done with this. I have not repurchased this because I have another foundation that's not in this makeup bag, it's in my bathroom. But I've been also using the Ordinary Serum Foundation, which has a very, very, very similar texture to this. The serum foundation though has a much more coverage, but I love this. This is great for everyday wear. I have it on right now. I also have the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer. I used this because when I first started using the serum foundation, it was quite shiny on my skin, and so I bought a primer. I also was using this in the summer when my skin was quite shiny. It's okay, this has a really weird texture. It has rice protein in it, so it's kind of weird. I don't know, and it was also like, I would say quite expensive for a product. It was like, I think like almost $15 for a drugstore product, so it's okay. I don't really use it now though. And then I have another Lorac shadow. This is the color Blanc, a great base shadow. Um, I have the Makeup Geek. This is the In The Nude palette, which is really great, but I dropped it, so one of the colors tends to fall out, but these are really great and shiny, and look at that mirror. So good. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the Makeup Geek stuff. And then I never even opened this, but this is from one of my FabFitFun boxes, and this is some liquid lipstick Thing. Oh, this is drying down really nicely. Okay, but um, I will probably give this to someone. I have never used it. So that's all my makeup products. That is what's in my makeup bag. I think I need to throw some of these in the trash because they're 
not good. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, all my social will be down in the link below. You can catch me on Instagram at Petite Talks. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Shalom. Adios. Bye.